It's another parametric integration question. We have a, a parametric uh, curve here as shown, and x is tan theta and y is cos squared theta. Theta can be between negative pi by 2 and positive pi by 2. The shaded region bounded by the curve and the x-axis and the lines x equal 1 and x equal negat uh, negative 1 and 1 uh, are as follows, and it's rotated 2 pi radians about the x-axis. Find the volume of revolution, find the Cartesian equation of the curve. Right. Okay, so we need to, for part A, use the formula the volume is equal to pi, the integral between our parameter, our parameters here are theta, so theta 1 and theta 2, y squared dx by d theta with respect to theta. Okay, now how are we going to find theta 1? Well, theta 1 is here and theta 2 will be here. So theta 1 is where x is equal to negative 1, i.e. we're solving that tan theta is equal to negative 1. So on our calculator, inverse tan of negative 1, and we get ourselves that theta is equal to negative pi over 4. Okay, and uh, for theta 2, theta 2, it's when x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1, so we're solving tan theta equal 1, and we get for that the inverse tan of 1 is actually pi by 4, so theta is equal to pi by 4. So there are theta 1 and theta 2, and also dx by d theta, if we differentiate this with respect to theta, we get sec squared theta. So we've got everything we need to substitute into this formula here. So it's pi, the integral between negative pi by 4 and pi by 4, of y squared, which will be this squared, so it will be equal to cos squared theta squared, multiplied by sec squared theta, which is 1 over cos squared theta d theta. Okay, so let's keep going with this. Is going to be pi, the integral between pi by 4 and negative pi by 4. Now we've got cos squared squared over cos squared, so we're just simply going to have cos squared theta d theta. Okay, now you should recognize how to integrate cos squared theta. This is something you just have to learn. You always use the double angle formula, and we should know that cos 2 theta is 2 cos squared th single theta subtract 1. So cos squared single theta, making that the subject, is cos 2 theta plus 1 uh, and divided by 2. So it would be a half of that, which is a half cos theta plus a half. Now you should know this. You should know straight away when you see the integral of cos squared theta or sine squared theta, you use the double angle formula. Sorry, that there should be... Uh, cos 2 theta and cos 2 theta there. Sorry, I forgot I rearranged incorrectly. So let's replace this by cos 2 theta. This is pi, the integral between minus pi by 4 and pi by 4. And instead of cos squared theta, we're going to write a half cos 2 theta plus a half. So we're integrating a half cos of 2 theta plus a half, all of that with respect to theta. Okay, that's going to be pi. Let's do the integration here. The integral of cos 2 theta is a half sine 2 theta. And we've already got a half here, so it's going to be a quarter sine 2 theta. And then it'll be plus a half theta. And it's going to be in, in between pi by 4 and negative pi by 4. Now it's just a substitution game. Let's put in pi by 4 here and we get sine of uh, pi by 2, which is 1. So we're going to get a quarter multiplied by 1 plus pi by 8 for the first bracket when we put in pi by 4, and subtract the answer when we put in negative pi by 4. So we're going to put in negative pi by 4 here, and we're going to get ourselves sine of negative pi by 2, which is minus 1, so we're going to get here a quarter times negative 1, and then we're going to get subtract pi by 8. 
So keep the pi outside the front. This is a quarter plus pi by eight. Subtract negative quarter, which would be plus a quarter, and subtract negative pi by eight, which would be plus pi by eight. And when we do that, we're gonna get pi on the outside. A quarter plus a quarter is a half. Pi by eight plus pi by eight is actually pi by four. Okay, so that's our answer there. That's what we'll get as our um, volume. It would be pi, and we could write it as pi by four plus a half, and we're done. Okay, and that's it. Right, so we've done the first part there. Uh, a quarter pi, pi by two, sorry, we need to show it's equal to that. Factorize out a quarter here, so take out a quarter, and you'll be left with pi plus two here as required in the question here. And there's our eight marks done, as follows. Okay, now we're gonna do the next part. So let me rub out this here. And we are asked to find the Cartesian equation of the curve. So we want just y's, just x's, and no thetas. Now we know that x is equal to tan theta, and we also know that y is equal to cos squared theta. Now, do we know anything linking tan and cos squared? Well, not quite, but we do know um, that 1 plus tan squared theta is equal to sec squared theta. Now, if I know cos squared theta is y, I also know that 1 over y must be sec squared theta. Okay, so instead of sec squared here, I could replace it by 1 over y. And tan squared, I can replace by x squared. So I could write 1 plus x squared is equal to 1 over y, and that would be my Cartesian equation. If I want to make y the subject, I can do so. Um, if I wanted to make y the subject, I could multiply both sides by y and divide both sides by 1 plus x squared. So y is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared, and that would be my Cartesian form of the curve for the three marks. Thank <laughs> you.